In this Trakebi review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Trakebi. Trakebi is a tool that allows you to time track your employees and all your different projects under your organization, as well as manage leaving notices as well. We'll take into this dashboard when you first sign in. You can see all your information right here, the hours you spend on a project. Now, this is very interesting. On the side here, you have both your personal time management and your company's time management. So if you were an employee, this is more for your situation and how you fit in within the company and the times required of you. And the bottom one here is more suited to managers so you can see everything your team's doing and the invoices and your projects so we'll go back to personal this is for more employees and personalized times of your own within the company so you can see you have the date here i've got a vacation right here put in that i need to keep track of and you can essentially fill any other dates that might affect your time at the at the organization as well we've got one project here and this is the main brief the standard page where you can see everything you have planned now if we go deeper in on your personal page you have tasks that might be required of you this month as you can see here or this week or today you tasks you did yesterday tasks you might need to do throughout the entire week here i've just added random random tasks for us to do because it doesn't really matter as this is just a review we're not running a company here but it's really, really nice to have all this information stored for you. You can add a timer as well to time yourself and see how long it's taking for you to do a certain amount of work. And you can manually, manually add your own things as well. If you know you have to do it yourself rather than your boss, essentially. And you can import some data as well, some time frames for you. So if you already had this all set up, then you can operate your leaves as well. So if you have any data you're having to take a an absence of leave in the company, you can file them in right there and know and anticipate when that date is coming. So these are just months from the previous year. I've put one here for September 27th right there, vacation, but naturally you can put some all over. If you're working a full year within the company, I'm sure this will be filled with many, many vacation dates or off work dates. So 2023 one here as well which is more useful for us you can fill that in the future as well see the allowance depending what which dates which vacations are pending approval and which which leaves are deductible or non-deductible as well now it seems that that's something more for managers but it's nice to be aware of that as an employee yourself once again, you can import your own sources if you had to from all these different softwares. If you already created a time code and time map for yourself, you can literally just import it onto Trek AB naturally. And you've got settings right here to see where your work hours are and know what time periods you have to hit, as well as your notifications as well for the time as if you spent too long or something or if you finish something. Now, that is the personal aspect of this software. You can then get to the company aspect, which gets much more interesting. So as a company, you can see the trajectory of all your weekly projects and how everything is going by project, by client, what's going on daily and what's going on weekly as well. Naturally, we have all our data for a big company, but right here, it's available for you to see. You can see all the leaves made this week or the leaves to be made next week. And you can see the time logged as well for your different clients or the billable times or time that should be paid and time that's unpaid as well. It's very, very useful to have. You can go down to insights as well and look again at all the times logged like it should before because that was the big dashboard for everything and this is the much more granular aspect of it as well you can set up times for different employees as well if you want them to work a certain period and just mess around with all this available for you you've got your time sheet here as well you can see what each client is having to do and what their projects and tasks are required especially the work performed as well and you can actually edit so you can write what the work could be essentially i've put patient clients tools work standard stock things we don't have a real company so i'm not really doing this and you can see it in this month previous month today or yesterday essentially and you can save a report as well if you wanted to and add new ones if you wished to You've got your client here the project the task member work performed all the things needed for them then 
you go down to your leaves as well. Here you can see on this nice row presented for us in ascending order, you can see the leaves also scheduled and documented here again. So you can always be aware of when your employees are taking time off work or when they will need to take time off work in any event. Then you got the reports you got here. We don't have any reports right now, but if your client had to create a report on a certain project and a task and what went well and what didn't and what needs to be improved, that report will be right there available to look at. Naturally, they could send it to you through a timesheet, but it's, it's right there and ready for you if you wanted to look in it. And yeah, we go down to invoices as well. And you can look at the cost of certain jobs that are being done, essentially. You can either send out a bill to a company or get a bill back from another company. It's all through here. This is just one of our own, a random invoice, $50. It means nothing. We're not running the real business, but it's nice to have there and to show that we can have this. You can create the new invoice yourself as well as a company, or you can do it for your clients too. You got the dates right there. You got the, the currency. And the hourly rates, the tax, the discount, all the edited features that are really, really useful. You can put the item and service you sold, you're that client sold, and it's all right there to be customized and very, very useful for your company as well. You have your projects that are being done. We have an active project right here, as I just added that onto our system. Again, imagine this for at least 10 more people, 20 more people, depending on how big your company is, if you're using Trikabi. So this is really, really useful. You see the time estimated, the amount of people on the project and the amount of teams on the project as well, and the start date for it as well. So that's very customizable and that's very, very, very useful for your company. You have clients here as well. You can see the client you're serving. Once again, this isn't a real client, this is just myself. So you have opulent tools right here. You can see the contact person, the contact email, the address, phone number of that client essentially. And that's really nice for your company to have. So you can always keep track of who you're working for and who you're trying to serve as well. You can invite new people and add new clients here. You get their logo, contact as well, and you can fill it in yourself if you've made a deal with a client outside and you want to put it within this software. You've got your staff as well, and you can see all the different members of your staff within your company. So you see your current employees, this would be a huge list, but again, it's only us, so we just have ourselves here with Opulent Tools, the owner of the email right there. This is a standard stock number. It's not a real phone number at all. And here we have pending invitations, former employees, everything that's going on. So this could be people who might be coming onto the site or maybe people who are about to be hired, post potential hired employees, former employees, some who may have left, and you've got the current ones here as well. Go down to the teams and you can use this to see the different members in a team you've assigned to a certain project as well. So you can sign a new person here or you can see a list of all the people who are working on that project and what all the different skills are. This is a pretty standard and easy one to look at. Now, interestingly, you have achievements as well. And this is really good for company morale and welfare, welfare within the workplace. You have all these different icons that you can use as well to just make it a bit more flashy and creative for your employees. Got Mission Impossible, got the time code, got the firecracker, you got the rocket. And these are really nice to have to send to an employee or a team that's done work that's gone above and beyond as well. It's really, really good for your company's morale. Because it can work at least a specified amount of time. You can give a goal for that. And you can see the challenges that you've assigned people as well. A new achievement you can easily add yourself. Yep, just put the achievement there, and the icon and the message, save it, and it's really, really easy. Then you've got the roles as well. You can see who does which role, assign different clients. You can assign different employees to different roles, essentially. It's really, really easy. You see who goes over the projects, see who goes over the organization, and who's in the staff, who manages the leads, views the leads, manages the team as well can literally enable and assign different employees to whichever you tick right here. There's a vast amount of options, but it's very, very useful. Same you can do with the manager and the owner naturally as well. Then you've got your settings with your name, company name, subdomain, brief, tax ID, address, phone number, and essentially all the other things we saw before the timesheet fields, the work times, the working days, and the public holidays you must take into account as well. Naturally, you go here, you can edit the profile through there as well and change your password if you need to. 
So that is trick AB. It is a very, very efficient software to use if you're running a company or you need to manage your time efficiently within a company. The only thing I would say is sometimes it can be a little unintuitive as there's so many features provided to you that it might take some time to learn. But once you do, it's very, very useful for your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave the comments below. Thanks for your time.